because nowadays there's this erratic uh, uh, back and forth between flooding and dry. Um, people make their homes in these tunnels, but they can't do it year round. Um, every couple years there'll be a strong enough flood, either during the summer from snow melt or during the winter from heavy rains, that it'll uh, just wash everybody out. I mean, literally. Sometimes it kills people. Um, sometimes it just washes out all of their, uh, their camp. So this is a, a shorter section of tunnel going directly underneath the Hard Rock Casino Hotel. That fancy decorative pond around the Luxor or the, um, you know, the canal that runs through part of the Venetian Casino. All of that water is clean and, well, relatively clean, and that can be dumped in these tunnels. What Las Vegas is trying to build for right now is what they call 100-year floods. So it's not exactly a flood that happens every 100 years, but it's a flood that has a 1 in 100 chance of happening each year. So it's not the flooding that's new, it's that people will build giant casinos or build their homes, and for 10 years there won't be a flood, and they'll think that that's normal, and they won't realize that in fact it is normal to have erratic occasional flooding. Hello? Hey, anyone around? Don't want to bother you, so, but uh, we're just doing some filming. Hey, hello? If anybody's here, I'd love to talk to you. What? Hi, uh, my name's Steve. I'm doing some filming with a friend. I just wanted to see if we could talk to you for a few minutes. Put down the camera. Hey, what's up? I'm Steve. This is my friend Andrew. Uh, do you expect to be um, flooded out this year? Do you, do you think there'll be a time when you have to flooded leave? Out twice. Already flooded out twice this year? Yeah. I have had dead dogs hit me in the head and everything. <laughs> I was asleep, woke up, water came, and then dogs just hit me in the head. I ended up on the other side of a terrible casino. Really? Oh, yeah. Watch you it. got washed all the way through this thing? Yep. Yeah. Best way I figure it is to give me a huge inflatable boat tied to the ladder over there. So when it rang, I just float. I have all the stuff in there with me, so when it rang, I just float. It'd be a day like today. I'll go to work. As soon as I get to work, it'll start pouring down rain. I won't get here in time to save nothing. Really? That fast? Man. I'm like, okay, like from here to the end of the tunnel, we get caught down here. Man, it took us like two hours to get out of here. You need to get your hands water. pressed yeah, up yeah, yeah. here. Don't pick your feet up. As soon as you pick that foot up, that undercurrent is that good. Whole bunch of people down there. I do not fuck with. Most of them shoot heroin and shoot speed. A lot of instability down there. Right down there, it take you straight to Imperial Palace. Pretty little stream. Yeah, you go through here, Man. I mean, it take you straight through. Excellent, awesome. Yeah. My name's Steve. I don't want to bother anybody. Hey, is anybody here? Don't want to bother you, but if anybody's around, I'd love to talk with you for a bit. Check out, these are beautiful tunnels up here. Check this stuff out. Huh. Check out the other stuff. Careful, are you going to be okay with this? I keep on seeing movement by the mouth of the tunnel we just came in. And it could be bits of his campsite blowing in the wind, like part of the, the flap from the tent, but I hate that feeling in going into a tunnel where we have no idea how far it goes or if we'll be able to get out the other end and having the sense that somebody's blocking us from the exit. So let's go around one more curve 
I know I've said that a couple times. This is either from a campsite that was right here that got flooded, or it might have been from one or two miles upstream. But um, these have just all gotten swept down here. All right, uh, this is making me feel a little nervous, Andrew. At this point, we have a campsite with people who might return ahead of us and a campsite with people who might return behind us. And we've been warned that this is a dangerous area. So I'll actually breathe a little easier once we get back to fresh air. Back to sunlight, we're still not out. Hey, hello. Hello. Join up with the couple that we met earlier. Live down here. Hopefully, they'll show us around their place. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Is that Ned? Yeah. How are you doing? Thank Good you to see you here. again. So, how are you doing? So, I don't know, like, do you feel like giving a tour of the place? We can. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, we can't, I go should think that this is going to be... Gonna go in? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it looks kind of scary yeah, just, back there. It does get a little scary, but it's all right. Come on. Yeah. Somebody be cleaning up. <laughs> Um, to go back if we don't want to break our backs anymore. And then it gets real tight again at the, at the very end, right? Oh, whoa. Holy shit. Or like this whole drain gets full all through here down that way. Yeah. There was a camp here. You see the match? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It just, but it comes through so hard here, so fast. I mean, it just wipes all Yeah, the there's uh, no protection from it at all, right? It really starts back here. <laughs> um, you see, in the middle, you see the island right there? Yeah. There's an island over here, so... Uh, it starts coming around, like when it's low enough, it just start from both ends, right? Coming around that island. Right, coming yeah. around the island. So it'll, it'll divert it to the center here. And what we've tried to do over time is build these little bits of walls uh -huh. so that as the pressure comes this way, it'll still deflect this direction from the center of, uh, the, or this division right here. We kind of like diverted it here uh, and gave it some sort of uh, little curvature to it too. Uh, I'm gonna need You can imagine so, how me living down here is right. During the daytime, okay. it's sweeping, it's, <laughs> like, you know, oh. the dust away. Yeah, we clean a lot more when she's here because she likes it cleaner than most of us. We had no warning you came while I was sleeping. Well, by the time you see the water coming, it's too late. Yeah. First, first flood that we were here for, her and I, we experienced a foot and a half wall of water coming down there. Jesus and uh, we didn't have much time at all to move our belongings. And uh, they've actually had, on the news, people coming floating out of those tunnels yeah. on top of their mattresses. And if you're farther back, you're... You're fucked. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How long have each of you been living in the, the um, drainage areas? Like either this or other. Jake's been here much longer. This is how I kind of found out about it. Was he was like, well, you know, times get tough, D. I know it may look bad and seem bad, but you know, it's a shelter. That we finished our last job, and they couldn't. They had no other jobs to bid, so they uh, pretty much laid off the entire company. Anyway, to, to finish the question, yeah, we just built on the outskirts, and then uh, the commercial I did was all the high-rise condos when they were a big popular deal. Uh -huh. We did all those, and then. When those weren't popular anymore, construction stopped, and that's the residential was so overflooded with new homes, and the, the condo thing stopped, so there was no more work. That's you know cool. any unfinished high rises we could yeah, sneak into and climb blue. the top of? Fountain yeah, blue. that one was the one I've been, I've had my oh, eye on. Oh, you're not sneaking into one. Huh? It's actually stopped 
midway through construction because they ran out of funding.